Praise God, praise God, remnant from the church without judgment, edification. I told you guys I wouldn't be doing anything um, where you would actually see the video and see, you know, see me or whatever. But I realize that the word comes to me first from the Lord and I really needed something this morning. So this is a. Uh, Call. Do not love the world. I'm going to pray real quick. Do not love the world. We do not love the world. Uh, we're in the world, but we, we're told that we're in it, but we should not love the world. I'm going to show you why. Father God, we bless you. We thank you. Lord, will you forgive me of my sins? I must decrease so that the Holy Spirit can increase. In Jesus' name, amen. Before I get started, this is going to be in uh, the book of uh, the first epistle of John, chapter 2. It's a gift. It is a gift to know the Lord. It's a gift because he is the gift. I just heard that. It's such a gift and we must prioritize him. It's a gift to be alive. It's a gift to breathe. It's a gift to be able to eat, to, to get that oxygen. It's a gift. He is the gift. Such a marvelous gift, such a sacrifice. His sacrifice was a one-time sacrifice. No man has ever done it. A one-time sacrifice. He's calling us to not love the world. I want to share, I want to go to first epistle of John chapter one. No, I'm going to go to first epistle of John chapter 2. I'm going to start at 10. This is, do not love the world. He who loves his brother abides in the light. And there is no cause for stumbling in him. He who loves his brother. If you love your brother, there's no stumbling. Listen to this. Verse 11. First epistle of John chapter 2 verse 11. But he who hates his brother is in the darkness. He's in the darkness because he hates his brother. All humans, we're brothers and sisters in Christ. We're supposed to be. We come from one family, Adam and Eve. God is the Godhead and then his son and then the Holy Ghost. In 11, and he walks in darkness and does not know where he is going because the darkness has blinded his eyes. So it's the eyes that are darkened and we hate our brother because we hate ourselves. Listen to this. I write to you in 12 little children because your sins are forgiven you for his name's sake he's calling us little children now he goes to the fathers in 13 i write to you fathers because you have known him who is from the beginning he's talking to the children the fathers now the young man i write to you young men because you have overcame the wicked one now he goes back to the little children i write to you little children because you have known the father now he's back to the fathers. I have written to you fathers because you have known him who is from the beginning. I have written to you young men because you are strong and the word of God abides in you. It's inside of you and you have overcome the wicked one. How? Having the word inside of us. 15. This is why. Do not love the world or the things in the world. It's going to tell us what's in the world. This is what's in the world, and this is what's operating the systems of the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all the things in the world, first epistle of John, chapter 2, verse 16. For all the things in the world, the lust of the flesh. So our flesh, the lust of the eyes. So we have the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. Is the flesh the flesh? It is the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the and the pride of life. It's the pride. It's we're being prideful. The pride of life. We live to be prideful and pride to live. It is not of the Father, but it is of the world. And the world is passing away in the lust of it. But he who does the will of God abides forever. Listen to this. Then he goes and says, little children, it is the last hour. And as you have heard that the Antichrist is coming, even now many Antichrists have come by which we know that it is the last hour. Listen to this. 
This is why they're, they love the world because they went out from us. That means there was a period they was with us, but they were not of us. They were with us for if they had been of us, they would have continued with us, but they have continued, but they would have continued with us, but they went out that they might be made manifest. What was made that they are not of us because the Lord is not in them or abiding that none of them were of us, but you have an anointing. The, the power from the Holy One, that anointing is the dunamis, that is the power from the Holy Ghost. It is only from the Holy One and you know all things. Now, 21 through 25 is going to talk about, I have not written to you because you do not know the truth, but because you know it and that no lie of the truth. Who is a liar? But he in 23, but he who denies that Jesus is the Christ. Whoever denies that Jesus is the Christ is the Antichrist. He is the Antichrist who denies the Father and the Son. Now listen to this. I'm going to go to 27. But the anointing, see, they left in 19. They went out from us, but they were not of us. They left because they came in for only a season. For if they had been of us, they would have continued with us. But they went out that they might be made manifest that it would be shown that they would go back, back to the Masons, back to another cult, back to wherever that none of them were with us. But 27, but the anointing which you have received from him, but the anointing that you receive from him abides in you. See, it didn't abide in them. So they had to leave before they were found out. And you do not need that anyone teach you. But as the same anointing teaches you concerning all things is true and is not a lie. And just as it has taught you, you will abide in him. 27, abide in him, meaning we we will not fulfill the lust of the flesh, one, which is in the world, the lust of the eyes, seeing something that you want, even if it's inappropriate, you want it and you take it. We're not going to have the lust of the flesh. We don't want, we want our eyes to look straight, not to the left, right. And this pride of life, pride comes before a fall. It is not of the father, but of the world. Father God, we don't want the flesh. We don't want the pride, the lust of the eyes or the pride of life or the lust of the flesh. Lord, take out the lust of the flesh from us, from humanity, the lust of the eyes, seeing something and we go get it. Lord, will you help us to have self-control, the pride of life? It says the pride comes before a fall, but a righteous man falls seven times and he gets up because he understands that he's a prodigal and that God is waiting and he's actually the one helping you up. And then the banquet comes. We love you. We want to overcome this by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will give us patience. The Holy Spirit will give us truth. The Holy Spirit will teach us all understanding. The Holy Spirit, we will have self-control. The Holy Spirit, we will have love and apathy and long-suffering. It's just love. We will have true mercy. We need it. We must have it from the church without judgment. Do not love the world and the things of the world. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, we rebuke it. We rebuke it and remove it, and we put in love from Jesus Christ. He is the love manual of our success in our lives. He is the one that gives us power to receive wealth, and that wealth is a supernatural, tangible, holistic wealth and economy from the kingdom of God and our Christ. From your brother Mark. Church without judgment. It's not by might. It's not by power. But it's by his spirit. Says the Lord. We love you. Bye bye.